Number four asks us uh, or gives us some information about a circle. Uh, it has a radius of 10, um, error of 0.5, so that is going to be my delta r when I'm using differentials. This is going to be my r. Um, and there's an error that should say they should be the same unit, centimeters, inches, whatever. Um, but I want to estimate the error for the area and for the circumference. So uh, my r, my r is 10 for both of these, and my delta r is equal to 0.5. So uh, I start with an area equation. Area of a circle is pi r squared. Now, when I'm doing differentials, it's not like related rates where I derive with respect to t. It's a little bit easier. I do uh, the derivative with respect to that r over there. So I do d d r, which gives me uh, d a d r equals uh, pi times, actually, I get 2 pi r. And you may be like, well, why don't we do chain rule? On the R right here, because, well, if I did the chain rule on the R in the middle, the derivative of R, and I'm, the key is that I'm deriving with respect to R, well, the derivative of R with respect to R is 1. So that would show up as a 1, which we do not write there. So, anyway, um, now I change my Ds over to deltas, so I get delta A, and I'm going to multiply by the, by the dr, so if I multiply by it on this side and this side, then it cancels here, and it will show up there. So I get delta a equals 2 pi r delta r. And now I just plug in my values uh, that I wrote over here. So I know delta a, and this should be an approximate, is approximately 2 pi times 10 times 0.5. I can do 2 times... 0.5 and they cancel each other out, which gives me that this is equal to 10 pi. So that would be the error plus or minus on uh, the area. So let's do part B. B is asking the same thing, except for with circumference. So I start with circumference. You should know that that is actually 2 pi r. Now I dd, what? ddr it. So that gives me dc dr equals 2 pi, because what this up top is, is uh, it's like the slope of a function, right? So it's this times a uh, constant. You could also think about, well, it takes me, this is r to the first, and when I drive it, I go down to r to the zero. This would be 1. So um, now I change over to deltas. Delta c is approximately 2 pi delta r. And then I plug in my values from here again. So I get my delta C. I get that that is equal to 2 pi times delta R is 0.5, which gives me pi. And then it actually asks for units. So since I messed up these units, um, let's just say they're centimeters. This would be centimeters. And this, since I'm talking about a delta A, the units for area are centimeters squared. Or if you were talking about inches and you read it for inches, then it would be that.